Don't lie people. about it. Necessarily you don't need to lie, lie about it. Because your policies. Just understand. You're lying you don't about need to lie record. about it. Complete lie. That's just a lie. Lie. Lies. Lie. 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 He's been telling a lot of whoppers tonight. What are we actually doing here? Two things were made shockingly clear at the Newsom DeSantis red state blue state debate. Number one. We're not having a culture war debating taxes or highways, shovel-ready jobs, or even, even some of the social issues. The culture is having a spiritual war. The issues we debate, life and marriage and sexuality, those are fruit issues. The root issue is God. How one understands God determines one's worldview, including politics, social issues, economics. Make no mistake about it. What we are witnessing in our culture will not be fixed by any politician, even a good one if they're elected king forever. These are spiritual issues, and that means there's only one spiritual solution, the gospel. When someone gets saved, their thinking, their political views, they improve. Nothing short of salvation is going to bring a man like Gavin Newsom or any radical socialist Democrat to their senses. In other words, if we Christians want to see the country change, and we do, we need to be doing what we've always been commanded to do, make disciples. Lesson number two, we have lost our way on the life issue. We've lost the argument. In other words, we're arguing about the wrong thing. The debate in politics regarding life has turned into a question of weeks and not the question of life itself. The debate made that crystal clear. Do you support any restrictions at all on abortion, especially in months seven, eight, and nine, past viability? Look, I understand why Sean asked this question. It's a gotcha question, and I get it. It's to show how extreme liberals really are. But I would suggest asking this line of questioning actually hurts more than it helps. Dismembering a child at nine months, nine weeks, nine days. They're all acts of violence. When we focus on late term, we may have success outlawing those, but we will have seeded the ground on all abortions. And by the way, no shocker here, Gavin didn't get around to actually answering the question. I'm going to answer that question, but let's talk about the issue of abortion. Let's talk about the issue. You're going to answer it? I'm going to answer that question. Okay. I'll repeat that. But I think this is important and it bears repeating. Well, there's a shocker. Now, notice what Newsom does to dodge answering Sean's question. He goes after, you guessed it, weeks. Ron DeSantis signed the most extreme anti-abortion bills in America. He signed a bill banning any exceptions for rape and incest. And then he said it didn't go far enough and decided to sign a six-week ban before women even know they're pregnant, Ron. There it is again. That is why we have lost our way on the life issue. We no longer debate what is in the womb and what we're doing to it. We're merely debating when we can do it. If I were debating Governor Newsom, I would ask him, why is six weeks extreme? What distinguishes a six-week-old fetus from a six-month-old fetus? This is precisely when you will be able to jump on your sled, S-L-E-D, and ride it to pro-life victory. Because Gavin would have said one of four things. The fetus is Small, yeah. So are a lot of people that we watch on TV, but we don't execute them. He would have likely said it's not fully developed. Neither is a two-year-old, but we don't kill toddlers. Wow, it's in the womb. What does location have to do with value? And finally, he would have said, well, it's dependent on the mother to live. Yeah. And there's a lot of people that are dependent on equipment to stay alive. And we don't terminate them. If you remember your SLED sled, you'll move the debate from how many weeks before we can kill it to what is it? And the answer, of course, is it is a life. So in other words, I want to be clear on this. 
if a woman and her doctor, for any reason, not for any reason. No, 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 it's no. I'm asking. Extremely rare. Should there this be? This is a canard. I know where you guys are going, Sean. You're even I, uncomfortable I'm asking, with this whole issue. I, and I, I watch your. It. I watch this your, is where you guys have I'm to asking, go to cover for the should, extreme should anti-abortion agenda of Ron DeSantis. Should there be? Who's hurt your would you support a ban on abortion in seventh, the eighth, or ninth month? I just if the, the question. If, if the mother's life it is not is in extreme jeopardy. Extreme extreme exception. People aren't going on and having abortions. Should it be illegal then? Unless something if devastating it's rare, is happening. Should it be it illegal? should be up to the mother and her doctor and her conscience. And it so almost the answer always, is no restriction. I, I've already answered it. Okay, that was, that was good. But again, that misses the mark. The debate isn't about weeks. The debate is about what makes a life worth protecting. You had a 15-week rule in, in California. You reduced it to six. Uh, my question is this. Uh, what was your thinking behind it? Was it for religious reasons? Was it for uh, scientific reasons? What was the reason for you um, from going from 15 weeks to six weeks? Oh, man, Zilla. Sean just set it up on a tee for Governor DeSantis. The answer should be, while my religion informs me that intentional taking of an innocent human life is a sin and a crime, the science is clear. A fertilized egg is growing, and that means it is alive at conception, not as fully formed, not as independent, but it is still a living human being. Well, I believe in a culture of life. I think we're better off when everybody counts, when everybody has an opportunity to do well, uh, and that bill uh, uh, attaches when there's a, a detectable heartbeat. <clears throat> Yeah, we, we want a culture of life, but he never explains why. The answer is because what is inside of the womb is a whole innocent human being. Instead, as swell of a job as he did overall, Governor DeSantis chose a random marker to determine the value of life, the heartbeat. First, there are people who can only live thanks to pacemakers. Second, heartbeat or brain waves are not what makes a living thing alive. If it is growing, it is a life, whether it has a heartbeat or brain wave or not. I think that what the position that we have from the modern left, including in California, is that they will take your tax dollars and they will fund abortion all the way to the moment of birth. He's wrong when he says the, the later terms are all because of this. 88% past 15 weeks are, in fact, elective uh, from, from the Florida data. He doesn't keep data there. But that is really extreme to take your tax dollars uh, and to do this all the way up uh, to the moment of birth. Is that like the fifth time we've seen it? The trap of making the debate not about should we abort, but when we should abort, Ugh, we've, we've lost the argument. He didn't answer your question about any type of protections at all uh, for a baby that has a beating heart, that can feel pain, that is viable. Right. Viability is irrelevant. I know that sounds kind of like, whoa, what do you mean viability is irrelevant? Well, we never walk into an ICU and pull the plug on someone who needs equipment to sustain their life. It doesn't matter if the fetus is viable. That is the wrong argument. The question is, what is it? The answer is, it's a whole innocent human being. When it comes to life, remember your sled. Don't fall into the when can we ditch. Instead, make the argument about one issue, one issue only. What is it? And if you really, really want to make sure you win the pro-life argument, there is again one surefire way, regeneration. Preach to pro-aborts so that God converts them. That makes evangelism a very good deal, doesn't it? Not only does thinking on life improve, not only does thinking on politics improve, but most importantly, their afterlife improves. God gets way more glory by saving a pro-abort sinner and bonus, babies' lives will be saved. What's the ceasefire that is needed for the culture wars? Evangelism and the gospel. Discuss. Despite the overturning of Roe v. Wade, women continue to feel the pressure to have an abortion. 
Preborn Network Clinics continuing to provide wisdom and ultrasounds that ultimately lead to the saving of 80% of the babies whose mommies see them in their womb. How many ultrasounds could you provide? Please visit preborn.org slash wretched.